One man recorded over 5,000 movie trailers, 750,000 TV ads, and has a voice recognized by millions. That man is... Me. What the fact? The facts and knowledge on voice actors. Don LaFontaine was a legendary voice actor whose nicknames included Thunderthroat and the Voice of God. So many of his movie trailers use the phrase, in a world, that it has since become a cliché. 80s are back. It's Code Monkeys, coming this spring. But another man's in a world is equally famous, and that's Hal Douglas. Douglas actually won the Don LaFontaine Legacy Award in 2011 for his extensive voiceover work. In a world where laughter was king. Arguably the most influential person in all of voice acting was Mel Blanc. The voice of Looney Tunes and many Hanna-Barbera cartoon characters spent six decades performing about 400 different voices. At the time of his death in 1989, it was estimated that 20 million people heard his voice every day. Blaze, you're, uh... I'm a private sad sack. Giving life to many of the female characters is June Foray. Her list of voice credits is extensive, ranging from Rocky and Natasha to Granny on Looney Tunes. She's still working into her 90s, and is the oldest entertainer ever to be nominated for an Emmy Award. Why didn't you tell me before? I didn't think you'd believe me. I don't, but it sure helps the plot. Creating sounds for animals, aliens, robots, and humans alike is Frank Welker, one of the highest grossing actors in all of Hollywood, due to the sheer amount of high-profile voiceover work that he's done. Starting with Fred on Scooby-Doo, he's gone on to voice voice Abu in Aladdin, Nibbler on Futurama, and Megatron on Transformers in the animated series as well as the video games. Here he is doing lion roars for Disney's The Lion King. <laughs> the voice of Walt Disney since 1983 is Mark Elliott. He's done voiceovers for so many trailers that his voice is synonymous with Disney. Disney's magical classic that taught us to believe, only for a limited time. Don Messick was responsible for an incredible amount of the famous voices of Hanna-Barbera cartoons, including Scooby-Doo, Papa Smurf, Droopy, Bam Bam, Boo Boo Bear, and Astro. Princess Liana, I've come to get you out of here. Do you mean run away? No, just retreat. The epic voice of the Transformers Optimus Prime belongs to Peter Cullen. Cullen also voiced Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh, and was the first person ever to provide a voice for Donkey Kong as part of Nintendo's Saturday Supercade in 1983. I have witnessed their capacity for courage, and though we are worlds apart, like us, there's more to them than meets the eye. The man trying to cheer up Eeyore was Jim Cummings, whose long list of characters include Winnie the Pooh and Tigger. So every time you see Winnie the Pooh on somebody's sticker or a t-shirt, no ribs, it would wig Piglet out. <laughs> TTFN, ta-ta for now. When it came to voicing Muppets, it starts with Jim Henson and Kermit. Now the truth of the matter is that the frog is a great deal more interesting to look at and uh, who notices what the bearded man is doing? But right alongside Henson was Frank Oz. Oz not only worked the puppets, but voiced many legendary characters, including Miss Piggy, Cookie Monster, and even Yoda. Yes, I'm a woman. <laughs> Star Wars' most recognizable voice is that of Darth Vader, provided by James Earl Jones. He also lent his booming voice to Mufasa in The Lion King and the iconic CNN network ID. Look inside yourself, Simba. Today's cartoons have many dominating voice actors, one of which is Billy West, noted for his work on Ren and Stimpy, Futurama, and as the Red Eminem. Hey man, will you button me? Will you shut up, you fool? Don't worry, bring me a sandwich from the dumpster and leave the nuggets on it. One of West's colleagues on Futurama is John DiMaggio, who not only provides the voice of Bender amongst his massive list of credits, he's also Marcus Phoenix in Gears of War. Cole, Baird, stay here and guard the centaur. Dom, you come with me. David Hayter's Solid Snake from the Metal Gear Solid series is one of the most famous voices in gaming. Quiet. 
Now listen close, because I'm only going to say this once. The nominees for favorite video game are... And the voice of the most recognizable character in gaming belongs to Charles Martinet. Hello, it's a me, Mario. Wahoo! You're watching Gamer Spawn, my favorite. Wahoo! For the last 20 years, the voice of Batman in multiple animated series and games has come from Kevin Conroy. The point is, her costume links her to me. Why? One of the most recognized voices in all of cartoons is Tom Kenny's SpongeBob SquarePants. Kenny's talents aren't limited to a pineapple under the sea, however, having voiced characters in over 200 productions, starting with Heifer from Rocco's Modern Life and including the Ice King in Adventure Time with Finn and Jake. Say, who wants the first patty from our freshly cleaned grill? A legend in female voice acting is Tress McNeil, whose talents have been used in The Simpsons, Futurama, Disney, Nickelodeon, and Cartoon Network. One that's really good, enjoyable, I think you'll learn a lot from him. His name is, he's incredible, he does incredible feats. Won't you please welcome Gizmo Duck. Another major player in voicing female characters is Tara Strong. She's all over Cartoon Network, as well as providing the singing voice of Meg in Family Guy. Family Guy creator Seth MacFarlane not only does the voice of Peter Griffin, but also Brian, Quagmire, and Stewie. Hmm, is this a grape or a cherry? You know what? I don't really care. I, I enjoy them both. Wait, wait, hold it, hold it, hold it. Can we finish this discussion after Joan of Arcadia? Can't mention Family Guy without mentioning The Simpsons, which not only paved the way for adult-oriented animated sitcoms, but houses a small stable of ultra-talented voice actors, including Dan Castellaneta, whose characters include Homer, Grandpa, and groundskeeper Willie. Homer has a little bit of... a little Mr. Magoo in him. I'm a grandma! I'm a grandpa! Hank Azaria, who is Apu, Chief Wiggum, and Mo, amongst others. Hold on, I'll check. Uh, is there a homosexual here? <laughs> it is Nasa Pima Petalon. It sounds exactly the way it is spelled. And Harry Shearer, whose over 20 characters include Mr. Burns, Ned Flanders, and Principal Skinner. Let's hold that down, please. Let's hold that down. Let's keep this in order. And will you please sit down, sir? Yes. <laughs> Hence the hounds. Mike Judge is the creator of King of the Hill and Beavis and Butthead, and provides the voices for not only Hank Hill, but both Beavis and Butthead. Hey, Butthead. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> Hand. <laughs> uh, can you, like, shut up? <laughs> South Park creators Trey Parker and Matt Stone provide the majority of the voices for their popular characters. Well, today we have a special assembly, okay? We're gonna learn about the diversity of Asian people. Phil Lamar began voice acting as a teenager. Today he's in basically everything, from Family Guy and Futurama, to video games like Metal Gear Solid 2 and 4, Infamous, and Dead Island. You know, so if one guy is placed here in my throat, then the other guy is perhaps I move him up in my throat and give him a, a different texture to the voice. Rob Paulson has voiced over 250 animated characters and performed in over a thousand commercials. You definitely recognize him as Raphael from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Pinky from Pinky and the Brain. Hey Dad, and hello, my name is Rob Paulson. I'm more commonly known as the voice of Pinky. <laughs> no. The Brain was voiced by Maurice LaMarche, an Emmy Award winning voice actor who was Egon on the animated Ghostbusters, and Orson Welles in The Critic, The Simpsons, and dubbed over Vincent D'Onofrio in Tim Burton's film, Ed Wood. And I am Maurice LaMarche, and I am the voice of the brain, and I shall take over the world, yes! From Luke Skywalker to voice over Megastar is Mark Hamill. His biggest animated role being the Joker, which he has voiced in several different iterations of Batman for TV and games. Without Batman, Crime has no punchline. Although his unforgettable voice was best known as the host of American Top 40, Casey Kasem also provided the original voice of Shaggy from Scooby-Doo and Robin in Super Friends. 
way he talks, Chair. Go and ahead. he's always talking about his good buddy Scoob, his old friend, his old pal, his old dear, dear buddy. YouTube had their own voiceover viral sensation when a homeless man named Ted Williams was discovered on the side of the road and gave viewers a glimpse at his golden voiceover talent. He has since landed several jobs, including with MSNBC and Kraft Foods. Kraft homestyle macaroni and cheese, cheesy noodles topped with golden brown breadcrumbs. You know you love it. The most successful YouTube voice impressionist is Brock Baker, whose Man of 100 Voices videos have amassed millions of views. Why, well, I'm the proprietor of this delicatessen. Big Bud is something I haven't seen before. To find more information on any of these or other voice actors not mentioned in the video, check out BehindTheVoiceActors.com or VoiceChasers.com. I'm going to leave you with this game. It featured some of the very first voice synthesis in the history of gaming. What is it? Before we go, here's last video's winner. Be sure to subscribe for more Vsauce 2, and as always, thanks for watching. Hey, and don't forget Bugs Bunny. Oh, I had to bring up the wabbit, didn't you?